Well, YouTube, I've been working all day. I finished getting all the risers in. I might have one or two that need to be put in just to give a little more support along the edge here next to that backdrop. But I had these backdrop pieces from another railroad. The trick was here that they had to be put in so that when it all breaks apart in half here, that it still comes apart in half. I didn't want to put one big long backdrop in and not be able to get it apart. I have a bit of a gap, but I think I can fill it with something and smooth that out a little bit, I hope. I'm going to give it all a second coat of paint anyway. It was painted for a different backdrop and some of the colors aren't exactly lined up. Like it's lighter on the bottom there and lighter on the top there. I'm going to mix up some more paint and repaint that. I, I don't know if you can see in here where the sections meet. There's four places. There's the two places on the branch line, like there and there. On each side it's like that. So I put strips of wood in there and screwed them in along that edge there. You can see the screws there on each side. And then I put carriage bolts in there. And I'm going to sand the top of these places so it'll be flat and even. And then when you want to take the railroad apart, you'll undo the carriage bolts in the bottom and undo the ones there. And each side ought to come apart into the two pieces. And then everything ought to line up good when you put it back together because you'll put the bolts back in and it all ought to line up. Like I said, this is new to me. I've never done one where I wanted to break it in half before, but I really want this to be easier to move. I think you'll be able to carry it in two sections a lot easier than one big section. It was going to get real heavy. I will fill in some of these areas with foam, I think, and build up some areas around the edges, some hills and stuff, and then paint all the wood and put some filler in there to where you don't see any gaps. It didn't come out as straight as I thought. I don't know if I cut them funny or if it just was warped, the wood that I used to put in behind the backdrops there. But I, it's uneven on both sides, and I fought with it for about an hour now, and I'm just tired of it. I'm just going to sand it off smooth and call it good. You won't see the top section because I'm going to try to build a valance across here to hold my lighting, and hopefully that covers up the top edge. You won't see the top, and you won't see the bottom because of scenery. I think it'll all look pretty good. But it'll be a little darker over here because I don't have as much light on this side. But like I said yesterday, this will be the small town up here on the top section. Right here will be the incline going down, or decline I guess, not an incline. But here's the branch line. It's a 2% grade if I figured it all right. And it's pretty nice and gradual. I got all that in today and it goes around real nice. And from right about here going down, right there where you see that well, I guess it's it's a line in the plywood, but I marked it as zero. There, there's where the grade starts going down. And it goes down and curves on around here until it gets to about, I don't know, right here. Right there. That's the line that I made. But when it gets to about right there, that's the where it levels out, and the rest of it's two inches straight across there. The other section is built four inches up, so there's a two inch difference from down here to up here on the main line. But I thought it would look nice. I welcome any comments or suggestions. I hope you subscribed. I think this is going to be really interesting. It ought to have a little bit of operation to it. It's not a big railroad, but I think it's going to be a nice one. I think it's going to be simple, and I think simple is good. Not too many overcrowded things, I hope taking away from what it really is. It's just a nice railroad to watch some trains run, maybe do a little switching. So, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.